Hoarding may have a bad reputation, but what if it's cold hard cash? With rising employment, more Americans are earning a steady paycheck. But much of that money is going both unspent and uninvested, leaving banks brimming with cash. To help explain the new trend, we are joined by Farnoosh Tarabi, host of the award-winning podcast So Money and financial columnist for O, oh, The Oprah Magazine. Good morning. Good morning. So what is behind this new type of hoarding, which seems a little less severe and worse, at least on your house? Right. I mean, it's ultimately a good thing. People are saving more. And I think what's yeah. fueling it is that we are uncertain about what's to come. If you look at the health care scenario, which is sometimes for people their biggest cost out of their budget, we don't know where costs are going. And so we're not going to go out and buy sweaters and cars because we don't know what's going to happen there. You look at the stock market mm -hmm. and, you know, the Dow is up 60% since 2012. And some people are thinking, how much higher can this go? And then you're remembering the Great Recession. You know, things got really good yeah. before they got really bad. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because, my, I mean, my father grew up in the Depression and never, he actually never let go of that. It affected mm -hmm. almost every financial decision he made for the rest of his life, having been through that. How much do you think the recession is, is going to play into people's psychology going forward? I mean, I think that uh, we're human beings at the end of the day. It's hard sometimes to, um, something that happened 10 years ago may not be sort of front of mind right now, but people who lost their homes, lost their jobs, certainly that has lasting impact, emotional impact. And so we make decisions emotionally. And so I do think that has a lot to do with it. So what are the options? I've, I've looked at savings accounts recently. You're still getting nothing, but it's a, li a little bit better. Right. What can you do? So I think it's important to have a strategy. If you have uh, more than enough in savings, meaning you have enough to cover you for an emergency account for six to nine months, that should go, uh, you, you, and you have more money, then that should go in other buckets. So you know, there's online savings accounts, which are great for an emergency. You can get about a one to one and a quarter percent yield, which is better than a traditional exactly. brick and mortar. Then if you have extra money left over, look at places like CDs, money market accounts, money that you don't need right away, good for those types of accounts. And then look at investing. Only 50% of Americans are investing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, retirement is a real thing and you're going to need money for it. So look right. at things like your 401k at work, an IRA, and even a brokerage account. A lot of people still scared of the market. Market, though, after you know, the way things went in the recession. Understandably, but you know, my approach is just a long-term strategy. Don't look at it as a day trading kind of a yep. thing. You know, you're looking to hopefully retire down the road 20 years, 30 years from now. Low fee index funds, ETFs are a safe and affordable way to go. Isn't this idea though that people are not spending, that they're just saving this cash, isn't this ultimately bad for the economy? You know, in the short term, perhaps we're going to see some retail sales suffer. Uh, but I think that ultimately this has to happen. We have to go sort of through a cleansing period. And guess what? We're going to be shopping again. This is just a cycle. <laughs> I'm already this shopping. This is just a cycle. Okay, you yeah. can't turn that off. All right, Farnoosh Tarabi, thanks so much You're for being welcome. with us this morning.